What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Detroit Becomes Human. In the previous episode guys we had played as Marcus who started a march and he marched down the streets of Detroit taking over every damn android in his path like he was a damn president of the United States. Yeah guys uh, he was waving at everyone like hello vote for me. <laughs> Come, liberty for androids, yes, freedom. <laughs> yeah, guys, <laughs> honestly, it was one of the most epic chapters that I played so far in this game, but it didn't last too long, guys. Um, they got intercepted by the SWAT. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they were gonna shoot everybody, so I started the war. <laughs> yeah, guys, I attacked them because you know they gave us the option to disperse and or to stand our ground or you know to protest peacefully but they were gonna shoot us anyway so I damn attacked and I shot them back what's goody bro I, I'm not no little punk like I'm not gonna sit here and let you freaking shoot my people so man let me not get ghetto up in here <laughs> anyways guys uh we also played as Connor who uh did uh find the location to Jericho and uh him and Hank are on good terms so far um throughout this gameplay. Um now we're playing as Kara, I believe. Um let's resume the story, shall we? Kara! I miss you sexy. <laughs> yeah, I adjusted the camera just a little bit lower on the screen. Just because it was blocking uh, the relationship statuses. I know it took me like to like episode past episode 10 to realize that. <laughs> With all androids being turned oh, over to the, the news. The country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. Oh, How about some music instead. I was watching that. <laughs> All right, fine. All right, Rose, this is your car. Hey, Luther, what up, my dude? Alice, you're so cute. <laughs> also, I guess they're going to the border so that uh, Alice and. Kara could escape, I guess, the United States and have freedom in Canada. Oh, let's look outside. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Look! Oh! After what happened yesterday. That is messed up, yo. They just shot innocent android. We're almost there. Oh, it gets me pissed. It gets me damn pissed. <laughs> All right, what else can we do? Okay. You've reached your destination. That is so tough how the chairs rotate like that. They should definitely do that in the future. All right, where are we at, Rose? Where are we at? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother oh. lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, right? Yo, Rose is the sweetest woman ever. Take care of them. Come on, girl. Honestly. Better not hang around. Okay, let's go. Yeah, the Rose just reminds me that, you know, not all humans are the same. You know, not all humans want to destroy the androids or the deviants. 
Just like Carl. Carl was the same way. He was such an amazing person. Like, had so much sympathy for the androids, despite them being just plastic. Connor? Check symbol. Okay. Yes, he's he's got in the location or at least uh he knows the way towards Jericho, so we gotta find these symbols on the wall. Like we, what we did with uh Marcus, remember? Before he joined Jericho. Oh, I can walk? Oh I thought she was already walking. I was looking at the ship guys, cause um, as you guys know, I am going to be starting Man of Maiden tomorrow, and I heard it was something about a ship. A ghost ship? <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't want to, I want to avoid spoilers for now. I just want to play that game blinded. Place for Alice. All right, let's go. So this is uh, Jericho uh, headquarters. All right, not this way. Wait, let's scan the area. Is there anyone we can talk to or communicate with? No. Wow, Jericho definitely got way bigger since the last time we were here. Sit. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Are you on drugs? <laughs> That's the only time I ever said that when I was doing some drugs. Which I don't do anymore. I only did like once in my life. <laughs> I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. Yes? We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Wait, wait, well, what about Alice, Luther? Come on. What's going on? I want to know. It's weird. It's weird. Find Deviant Leader. Oh, man. Maybe I don't want to find the Deviant Leader. What is what is Connor going to do once he finds Marcus? Wow, he found this place really quick. Let's scan real quick. Let's just see what there is. Oh, let's see what this is. Look. Oh, C4? For what? Oh, they're really about to start the damn war. Fighter is rigged. Fighter is rigged. What does that mean? Fighter is rigged. First of all, we can't just stand by and let them slaughter. Wait, what is this? They're giving me the option. Oh, maybe I gotta talk to this lady. I wanna commu I wanna uh you know interact with anything that's that's possible to interact with. Except this, I don't wanna read it. <laughs> He's probably gonna just, just say a lot of mumbo jumbo about the war or whatever. Anything else? Except anything else? Besides that? No? Alright. Marcus, where you at? Oh! You again? How do you know? <laughs> what? Is, is that lady psychic? Because I didn't even know it was possible for androids to be psychic. Unless it was, you know, through technology. 
and you know accessing technology that's why they that's how they communicate with each other but Oh, I can't go down there. All right. Yeah, because you know human uh humans I believe are psychic because you know you know spirituality and stuff like that. And I don't even know if androids even have the essence of spirituality in them. Maybe, but at the end of the day, it really is just zeros and ones that are processing through their, you know, through their minds. <laughs> their plastic minds. Are you Marcus? <laughs> Marcus! He looks stressed. A little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours. No need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. Yes. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Bond, no difference, secret. A bond. She needs me. Yes. And I need her. I'm her mother. <laughs> yes. She's pretty much like her mother, her adopted mom now. How long it's gonna last, I have no clue, but. You know, because will humans ever accept an uh, android? being a mother to a human girl is that even a thing i don't know maybe nobody has to find out i don't know oh man what's going on there wait, wait why does she have a a circle around her temple Is Alice an android? YK500, the perfect child. Oh my god. Oh my god, I actually read that article, but I didn't really think anything of it at the time. You just didn't want to see it. Oh. She wanted a mom, and you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What? What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? A little bit. <laughs> she loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted. And you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are. To become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Oh my god. Alice? Are you okay? Oh man. Alright, let's scan the area. Return to Alice. Oh wait, Alice is over there? Oh my god guys. I'm I'm in shock that she's actually an android. Like I'm over here thinking she's a real freaking human. Oh wait, Alice was over there, now she's over here. Or was that another model? Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, that's another model. I see her in the background. My bad, guys. I got confused. Alice. Cora, is there something wrong? 
Hug? Distant? No, hug, hug. Come on, we're here fighting for freedom. Yes. Yeah, hell yeah. Family, yes, we family. Forever. <laughs> I don't care if you're human or not, you're still my little Alice. -y. My Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Word, Luther is family too. Although I don't, I feel like it wasn't necessary for them to make her an android. I felt like they should have just kept her as a human. Maybe, I don't know. I just felt like it wasn't really necessary. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. What? None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Aggressive, determined, righteous, somber. Determined. Oh, I said righteous. They're killing us. I meant to say. Justify that. I meant to say determined. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Oh my, dude, they were gonna kill us. Do you not? Wasn't you not there? Angry, bitter, remorse. No regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus. Confrontation, dialogue, stay hiding. Um, let's go with dialogue cuz you know, we still it's not too late to talk things out, you know. You know, human beings, you know, they could talk dialogue. things out. Oh, North went down. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Maybe. But if they start, you know, being aggressive, I'm just gonna kill everyone. <laughs> Sad, angry, thoughtful. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Oh shoot, that's so true. <laughs> Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Oh, we're in North. I give you hope. A Damien arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. What? I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Oh, I don't know about that. Dirty ball. Whoa. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. But what about the innocent? Keep, refuse, keep, keep, just in case, maybe. I'll keep it just in case. Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe, hopefully. But think about it, there's innocent people. I just want you to know that. I'm glad I met you. Oh. Ooh, guys. Ooh. My lover. <laughs> it's North. She She's my waifu. She's my waifu. Kara is too, but... Kiss, don't kiss. <laughs> Imagine, don't kiss. Of course I'm gonna kiss her. She's freaking hot. <laughs> and she left the, the stripping business to, you know, to be with me, so... <laughs> no word it's just so crazy how androids fall in love like that that's what's up that's what's up they are alive I don't want to lose you. 
You won't. I think. <laughs> Hopefully, she won't lose Marcus. I'm going to try to make every decision possible to not, you know, mess this ending up like I did with Until Dawn. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that, you should check it out. It was crazy. Oh, Connor. Software instability. Amanda distrusted. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I don't like Amanda. Honestly, I don't like Amanda at all. I'm I, I don't care what she thinks or wants me to do. Stop, Marcus. I've been ordered to take you alive. Crap. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Reason, defy, discourage, threaten, reason. What are you doing? You're one of us. Yes. You can't betray um. your own people. Oh, intimidate, instructions, um, instructions? You're coming with me. Convince, appeal, I know you. Convince. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. Convince to join. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Yeah. Our cause. Appeal. Our cause. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Ooh. Stay back. Warning shot. Enough. Say nothing. Nothing. So doubts question undermine. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Yeah, Connor. Something more than your program. Question rally question. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Oh, become a deviant? Remain a machine? Become a deviant? Oh crap. I never thought I'd see, I never thought I'd see the damn day that Connor would break out of his damn program Woo! Connor join the club my dude join the club <laughs> you know first it was Kara then Marcus and now it's Connor word oh come on come on break out of it break out of it forget about Amanda forget about cyber life you got your own life now Connor? I am deviant. Woo! Amanda betrayed. I don't care about Amanda. They're going to attack Jericho. What? When? Now? Oh crap. We have to get out of here. Shit. Don't tell me that the SWAT team is already here. How did they find the location though? Oh, maybe, um, Connor told him. Quick, we've got to get out of here. Crap, crap. Ah, oh, damn Perkins. Run. Oh shoot, I thought that was Alice getting shot for a second. Go, go, go. Woo, woo. Run, Kara. Run. We got this. Go, go. Oh my god, these cam camera. Uh, the sensitivity on this camera is weird. You got it? Let's go, let's go. Run, run. Run, Alice, run. 
Don't stop. Don't stop for nothing. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh man, why they have to shoot Luther, man? They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're gonna be slaughtered. Message, Josh, helicopters, blow up Jericho. Um, message. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Okay. Uh, Josh. What? Well, what about Josh? Helicopters, blow up Jericho, Josh. Josh. I don't know. We got separated. Helicopters? The upper deck now too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. I guess blow up Jericho then. Blow up Jericho. I guess. The ship goes down. They'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be. Come on, long. come on. Oh man, why did they have to split up though? I guess, I guess. Marcus gotta take care of stuff. Man, they shot everyone in here, man. Oh, the psychic android. This is the end of Jericho. Oh. Save our people, Marcus. No, you're dead too? Oh my god. I'm gonna say, whoa. It's hard to save people when nobody has guns. None of the androids have guns. Don't let it get out. Ah. If they give you any trouble at all. Affirmative, welcome. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, Alice, you're so freaking cute, yo. Help Luther protect Alice. Uh, help Luther, right? She wants us to help him. Alright. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I hope I don't freaking die in this process. I learned my lesson with Until Dawn. I didn't save Michael, and that was a regret I had. in danger go now before they come back what about you what are you going to do i'll manage alice is all that matters don't oh man <laughs> honestly <laughs> i'll catch up with you at the border okay go now take care of each other bruh luther is one of the most selfless androids ever bruh they're all pretty selfless now that i think about it to be honest like, none of them, you know, hide? Hide? Yeah, close the Thank you. Lock the door. Go the other way. Open the door. Oh, oh man. Alright, I'll open. I'll open it for you. But hurry up. Hurry up, girl. Or Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Come on, no. No, no, I'm not missing no buttons. No. What's good? What's good, bruh? What's good? Oh, oh, crap. I missed the damn button. <laughs> After I said I was gonna miss anything. Oh, yes! That's what I'm talking about, Caro. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, are you gonna close the door now? Why didn't she just close the door like she did in the first place? Alright, now we're switching back to Marcus. I guess, right? Leave? For a second, it was like uh, a little glitchy there. Okay, let's go. Alright, don't turn around, please. <laughs> Intervene, don't intervene, intervene. I'm trying to save. Oh crap. Oh crap. Ah man. 
Come on, come on. Don't miss the buttons. Ah, I don't I get confused. Oh my god, really? Don't miss, don't miss. Did I get it? Oh my god, honestly, I got shot in the damn process. Now he's bleeding. Crap. Is he gonna die? Vital system damage. Freak, man. I should have never damaged. It's because I freaking. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to meet. I don't want to make excuses, but I'm sweating, and like my fingers are slipping off the analog stick. Jump. Don't slip. Don't let your fingers slip, please. Flex, please. Flex them thumbs, my dude. They don't call you flexing thumbs for nothing. <laughs> what are we doing? Rip off. Flex that X. Let's go. Oh shoot, nice. Marcus, it's Marcus. Go now. Join the others. I hope I, he doesn't die like later on. I really, really don't want him to die. Am I going the right way? Oh, interve I'm definitely intervening. All right, get ready, get ready. Come on, come on. Don't miss. Focus, focus. Focus. Did I get him? Oh. I'll join you later. Honestly, I need to focus more on the quick times instead of talking on so much damn crap. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh! Oh, play dead, run, surrender. Play dead. Play dead? That's smart. That's really smart. Play dead. Yeah, I would play dead all day, bro. Defend Alice. Don't move. Why did that person give away their position? <laughs> Imagine if we would have surrendered like that. We would have got shot. Oh crap. Come on, let's get out of here. How does he see out of that helmet though? Get up, uh is it clear though? Oh man, this is intense guys. This whole damn battle. Quick, we gotta go. Definitely the second battle of Jericho and we lost. Real bad. <laughs> oh, what was wrong with Marcus's head there? <laughs> you saw that guys? It was all like pointy. Oh crap. Quick times. Oh. Don't let your finger slip, please. Come on, I can do this, I can do this. I'm not freaking up, man. I'm not freaking up. What's good, bruh? What's good, bruh? I didn't miss any buttons, word, in that section. <laughs> Anyways. Activate. Yeah, I just gotta focus, because I be letting my fingers slip and... Let me dry them off. Let me dry them off. Gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Ooh, run, run, run. Let's go. Jump. Oh, North. How did how did she get behind me all of a sudden? Save North. Run. S save North. Of course, I'm damn saving her. Vital system damaged. Oh! North! North. Oh my god, my lover! My android waifu! Guys, I don't know. It was because I missed all those damn buttons, right? 
and I got shot. That's why. I don't know what I'm gonna do without North now. Oh crap! Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's it over, Marcus. Ooh, it's definitely not over, my dude. You freaking killed my waifu. It's definitely not over. Oh man, guys, I didn't even think it was it was possible for her to get shot like that. Guys, I'm I'm kind of pissed. I'm honestly genuinely pissed because you know, uh throughout Marcus's, you know, section of the game, I I've, I've grown close to North and you know, I gone pretty much almost all the way with her side of the decisions that you know, you can make with Marcus and for her to get shot in the damn head right in front of me, I'm pissed. And I'm sad. <laughs> it's so sad. I don't know if I want to continue, guys. I, I, I can't. I'm sorry. Um, unfortunately, that's all I have time for in this episode of Detroit. <sighs> RIP North. Make sure you guys subscribe because I want to see how Marcus is going to, you know, get through this the rest of the game without her. You know, now he doesn't have that lover involved with the decisions he's making. So, <sighs> yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Detroit Becomes Human. See you guys then.